Yo, elite group. So I'm still watching Hamster right now. Like, I don't know where the fifth wave is. I'm anticipating maybe even a breakdown over here. Uh, this major, major trend line that's been forming over a 20% move. So most likely I'll scalp it if it breaks down just to see how it goes. But other than that, I don't know the Elliott wave formation. This could be the fifth wave formation coming in. Maybe. I don't know. Um, hard to tell, to be quite honest. I really don't know, man. It's really hard to tell. Like, maybe, like, maybe this is making a one, two, three, even a four, then a five, and then we break down. Because it just seems like it's losing steam right now. So keep an eye on it. But if you, like, look at it on a you know, like a one hour time frame. like sometimes, sometimes the one, like it's very clear that's the one, that's clearly a three, but we don't know where the four is. The four and the five could be hidden in here. That's already occurring. So you have to be really careful about this. Like it might break the other way as, as well upwards, right? Cause this has got the structure of an ascending triangle. You see it, it's like, it's like an ascending triangle. So this is like the perfect trade to be taking soon. Right, it's because if you look at it, like it could either easily break either way, right? Like this is gonna this is gonna happen sometime soon, right? That's an ascending triangle, but I don't know which way it's gonna go, right? We don't really know in any way. So this watch out for it, guys. This pattern's the pattern you want to trade, man. Okay, guys. So we're now looking at uh, looking at hamster. The little fucking hamster that's running in a wheel all day. So I'm now in a short position. Um, nothing crazy. Just like $77,000. My short position is going to be really quick. Like I talked about this line the whole time, right? You guys see this, um, this white line there? You guys know when you see a white line, you know what you do? You fucking snort it. <laughs> what else is there to do? <laughs> just kidding. No, that that I'll just call it the red line, the big fat red line there, right? That's the major resistance or sorry support. So if it broke, like the most logical thing to have done was shorted it. I entered it very short uh, in a very late place because I'm a little bit distracted tonight, but in a good way. So I entered it very very late. Yeah. So um, that's okay though that I entered it late. I should have entered it on the break. So I missed out on literally 2% because I'm like, I'm distracted tonight. You can't trade when you're distracted. But I'm still going to win this trade. So you guys understand my logic, right? There's this gigantic, you know, that triangle. I think it, I think it was a triangle that ended up finishing that wave, actually. So this is a 1. This is a 2. This is a big 3. This is a 4. And this is most likely the 5 that finished the triangle. So I think now... The only place for it to go is really down, but of course there might be a correction up. And the th shitty thing about entering my position really late is that if there's a correction up, I'm gonna be facing that risk of it, like you know, going a little bit higher for now. So I'm kind of like annoyed that I entered um, late right now. To be honest, I wish I got in a little bit earlier. So I don't like to be in a position where I'm like in the middle of the trade. Do you know what I mean? Because this is the position that you'd want to be in. I don't like these positions at all. So you want to enter it on the break when. But, you know, I was fumbling around with my numbers and I'm trying to use the shortcut, the, the trick to like enter the short when there's a limit. So I think that this trade is honestly a bust because I don't want to deal with it of correcting really high. And then I could be down like like $1,500. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to exit the trade and just call it night because I missed my entry already. So here we are, exiting my position, closing my long, closed. No, I didn't close. I miss, I couldn't even close my long. So now it cracks up and I'm actually down instead, down 400 now. Let's give it just a few more minutes to see if this is just a corrective wave to the upside and then it comes down. Annoying when you like when you get a really bad entry, but I think it's gonna break my super trend indicator soon. 
most likely what it's going to do is like maybe it's going to continue down hard maybe it's going to make a resistance of some sort like this and then eventually come down with like a descending triangle if it's the, if it's the top so my my exit will be another like three four hundred dollars of a loss my exit will be 2.42 percent loss because like this this is the ascending triangle that it failed to break do you see it looked like it was an ascending triangle that it failed to break so if it breaks back up above to the bullish side of that ascending triangle then not logically that would be the best stop loss but for now if under the assumption that this is the last wave then then i'm gonna i'm gonna just kind of ride it down further okay guys so i'm confused by the count honestly i, I fucking am i think this is making an ending fifth wave diagonal but it's not done yet i think there's a, maybe even a little bit more to go maybe it's gonna go something like that like that's what it looks like it's gonna do to be quite honest i don't think it finished it i can't find five complete waves anywhere in here I, I i legitimately can't so confidence is not that high right now honestly that's what i think i mean the 15 minute kernel is just fucking with us right now it's the 15 minute kernel is like acting like that abusive stepdad that i wish i had fuck that's how it's treating me right now fuck man also, the main kernel is the, the 30 minute kernel. Actually, probably the 20 minute kernel if you look at it. Let's just check out the 20 minute for fun. Oh, it actually exists already. What the fuck? I have the 20 minute? Watch the 20 minute. This 20 minute is a really good kernel, see? Let's see if this drops. This looks like it's gonna drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. You guys see what I mean? Like the five minute kernel is really good right now. But if I'm right about this, it would actually be even better. Like if I'm right that that was the wave count. But maybe the wave count's already in and we just don't know, right? We have no idea. But honestly, this did drop already, right? That did break. So, you know. Maybe, maybe this is the very final wave. Maybe it is. Uh, the only thing that would validate it is literally a lower low right now. A lower low than, than 47. If it drops below like the 47 range where it made the other low, then that would validate a lower low. Okay, so this range right here, it would break down, right? Right here. Oh, fuck me that that lower low would break down so the next target would be here and also probably here this would be a very very good range so these two ranges would be your take profit and maybe even right here too right so you have three ranges to take profit but i don't think this guy will hold i think that if 47 breaks we're going to crash down to 44. all right so it's looking decent right now so do you remember the ascending triangle that it was trying to break above earlier? Right, like this This is the ascending triangle right here, okay? It did break above it temporarily, right? You see it break above. I'll make this yellow to be more visible. The yellow, it broke above it right over here, right? In, in these regions, but it both trapped. And then it came back down actually it dropped down hard it tried to get back up above the ascending i meant the ascending triangle if i said descending ascending triangle tried to get it back above it but it failed so now there's a chance a strong chance for it to break the previous low if it takes it out and the previous low is going to be like right here so if it breaks below like 47 ranges like right at 47 it's probably going to smash straight down to about 40 44 45 range so there's a really good possibility of that happening right now all right guys so i didn't catch it on um, <laughs> trading here because i was recording my phone instead but yeah i ended up taking a profit here let's refresh the page show you guys what i took in so if you look on the bottom left i took in three thousand seven hundred and forty dollars with a one hundred thousand dollar position and the logic was was it was a hard trade i have to admit it was one of the harder trades i had to take 
because this guy here ended up breaking first, right? That was the main trend line break, right? But usually when it breaks down like that, it finds a reasonable support, it bounces to a reasonable level, and then it creates a lower high. So when it creates a lower high and you're seeing it kind of find resistance, that's a really good entry. Another thing to really make note of is this right here, okay? This is the ascending triangle. So I'm gonna play it out for you guys, like the whole logic. Because if you like review your trades and understand it, you will make money because it's the same shit over and over. So here's the ascending triangle pattern. Do you guys see it? The ascending triangle. Here's the bull trap, okay? The bull trap right there. And then after that, it's so funny that I was just explaining to my girlfriend about, about how these bull traps work whenever it breaks above it. So when it comes back in, that's where you short it. So this was the first short entry that I took, but I took it a little bit late, right? And then it creates a bottom, a lower, like it creates a bottom, and then it bounces, it counter corrects, just like that. And then what happens is it creates a lower high, right? The lower high, and then, and then I was kind of panicked around over here. But that created the beautiful trend line that ended up breaking down, where it squeezed against the resistance. So you see over here, this is the resistance of the ascending triangle, right? And it couldn't break above it. So because of that, it broke to the downside. And that let me win the trade. So bam, guys, that was a good $3,700 profit. Fuck yeah.